Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I am honored to be connected with you here today on today's live stream. Today is July 13, 2016. It is a Wednesday, and in a couple of days, uh, we'll be going, we meaning about 300 very lucky, blessed people, will be going to the Master Shah's retreat, which would be called the uh, Guanyin Dabe Jo retreat. And we're all going to have the incredible opportunity to, to be uh, an opportunity to be part of Guanyin's lineage, which is virtually unheard of. <clears throat> so needless to say, I'm very, very excited about that. It's a great opportunity to be connected with uh, so many souls that I am here with today on this live stream. It's uh, something that I've been looking forward to. You know, it's, uh, please don't be disappointed if I don't recognize you right away. Um, very often all I get to see is this little uh, fraction of a quarter inch photo of you. And so it's hard to tell who's who. So I apologize in advance if I don't recognize you at the retreat. <clears throat> so aloha everyone that's joining in. Esther, Jota, Kayla, uh, Kayla and family. I'm sure part of the family is there. Welcome Carrie. Welcome Johnny. Great to see all of you. And uh, welcome, Kristen. I saw your thumbs up earlier, but for some reason, Kristen, your name doesn't pop up um, on the show. I, I don't quite know why. Uh, welcome, Lily. Welcome, Monica. And welcome, Kristen Strachan. Welcome, Stephanie. <clears throat> so wonderful. We're getting a great start of the day. Today's very powerful day. I was reading a few books. Um, and connecting with the divine for the teachings for today. And as always, um, we, we send our greatest love to the Facebook live stream modality. If it does cut off, I will be able to start a new one. The other day it was a, a bit of a weird hiccup, so I apologize about that, but hopefully that will not happen again. <clears throat> and so I did send blessings to my uh, live stream feed, so hopefully we'll have a clear uh, clear operation today. So welcome Amy, great to see all of you joining. So let us join hearts and souls together first to get started, placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. <clears throat> Dear beloved spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, up to Master Shah's original soul standing. They're all of our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, love you, love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Thank you so much for being with us here today. We ask that you uh, offer your guidance, your insights, your blessings, and whatever else is, you know is best and highest for us to receive in today's live streaming. <clears throat> to the soul of all of our third eyes, all of the downloads and treasures for our third eyes, or any downloads and treasures transmitted to our soul that can assist in boosting and opening our third eye. We love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please turn on, please come at this time. Uh, dear the soul of... Guan Yin, 87 Buddha, and Da Bei Zhou. We love you, honor you, respect you. We bow down to all the holy beings. We ask that you please be present here today as well and assist with whatever practices that we do to help us to open our third eye to receive blessings. So I hope that we hit the number 30 today. That's the magic number. If we do, then I will be offering a very special blessing. <clears throat> so you guys keep an eye on that number on the top of the screen there. Sometimes it pops up and then comes back down. So uh, we'll do our best. So let us start uh, by chanting love, peace, and harmony one round to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo, ah, hi, wo, shin, early. Wo, ah, trun, and lay. Wong, li, rung, 
而不失胸，所爱平安和谐，所爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. 好，好，好。Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome, everyone. <coughs> As you know, today is on the subject of the third eye. The third eye in Master Shah's teachings is the third spiritual channel, and he refers to four major spiritual channels. When he told、uh, a lot of those that were in training at that time, I instantly heard, in, at the soul level, that there are、uh, quite a few more channels. But these are the four major ones that he is teaching, and to the best of my knowledge, he has not taught anything beyond that yet.、Um, so, welcome, love. It's great to see you. <clears throat> so, the first channel we、oh, we did、uh, practices and blessings for on Monday, which is the soul language channel. And we discovered that when we chant the special code of three three nine six eight one five, or in Mandarin Chinese San San Jiao Liu Bai Yao Wu, that it unlocks special patterns in our body. That it unlocks the chest area first, then the lower abdomen, then the rib cage, then back to the belly button, and then up to the brain, and then back down to the stomach. So those three,、uh, those, those, excuse me, those. Digits San San Jolio Bai Ao Wu vibrate these areas, and when we chant them in order very quickly, then it opens up a channel known as the Soul Language Channel. Yesterday, Tuesday, there was teachings and blessings for the Soul Communication Channel, which is translating the Soul Language and getting messages from the Soul World. <clears throat> we receive messages in many ways from the soul world, and these four channels. The purpose of these four channels is to release the、um, the blockages in the human body, in the human's energy, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies, so that we can receive the messages more clearly. Now, let me state that differently: the messages are always coming in, but we're very often unable to hear them. Think about that. Is the TV always putting out a signal? In other words, as the TV stations constantly bombarding the airwaves with 2,000 channels? Yes, the answer is yes. 100% of the time, the signal is going out, but we only receive it when we turn on the TV and focus on that specific station. <clears throat> so, opening the spiritual channels is very much like that. Heaven. Your heaven's team, all the guides, angels, and saints that have been assigned to you, and all souls virtually are talking to us. But we are not turning on the television set; we are not tuning in to where we can hear them. So there, that is the the intention of opening your spiritual channels, and the purpose of me covering this this week. Is to let you know that you do not have to check in with a divine channel and honor a, a lot of, of money just to receive guidance. When you can actually receive it on your own and receive it accurately, how you join the Tao Source Communicator program. So, in order to join that program, you would just type into Google Soul Power Institute or go to Dr. Shaw's homepage. There's going to be information in either one, and you you.、Um, You don't register. You check to see if you are approved, and then they'll give you the registration information. The other thing that I'm doing is I'm teaching you step by step by step. Those who like to teach but don't necessarily want to connect to heaven or do healing, they just love teaching. Then they have the、uh, Soul Heal- Soul Miracle Teacher Program. Again. Go to Soul Power Institute. So that's why I'm focusing on this this week, so you can be empowered yourself. 
the teachings are you can give a person a fish, but if you teach them how to fish, they can serve themselves forever. And it's the same uh, processes. So the teachings today and the blessings today and the power of insight that we use today, I had none of those skill sets until I went through these courses that you also have the ability to go through. I can tell you it will, it will change your soul journey forever. So I hope you take advantage of that. <clears throat> so welcome Nicole, welcome Margaret. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And also welcome Yvonne. I see you uh, pop up there. I have, didn't see your name, but I saw your thumbs up. Thank you so much for that. So <clears throat> when we work with this, yesterday we talked about opening the soul communication and doing some translation. And I gave you two practices and you all did exceptionally well. Afterwards, I checked the accuracy and across the board, it was about 80% accuracy. Welcome Irma. And so how do we get that high of accuracy? For some of you, you came into yesterday's practice and you said, my goodness, I don't trust anything that comes out of my mouth. I'm not sure if what I hear is accurate. You, the self-talk, okay? The self-talk is karma. The self-talk is blockages in the channel. And the main area of all four channels, the main area is the heart center, the message center. And so what did we do yesterday? We did several very potent practices. We received a transmission through Master Shah's book, applied those practices, and then I gave you the, a message from God. What is God asking you? What is God telling you right now? And you had an 80% accuracy. Trust that you can receive messages correctly. But how do we accomplish that? By opening the heart center. So the third channel is the third eye channel. It is a channel, just like the others, whose purpose is to receive messages from heaven. <clears throat> I see Kristen saying she does not have any sound. Can others please confirm that or is it just Kristen? I'll keep talking while I wait for other confirmation. So please let me know so I will keep talking. The third eye is the third channel. And it is a form, thank you, Carrie. It is a form of um, receiving the information. Now, one of the very first teachings that Master Shah gave all of his students was that do not assume that the third eye uh, information you're receiving is accurately understood. Why do you think he said that? He said that because we utilize our mind to interpret the image or vision that we may or may not see. Now, I've been working with Master Shah about eight years and uh, I had to hear Master Francisco and other divine channels who have active and open third eyes explain to us how they receive images. Master Francisco, you know how active his third eye is, one of the things he said, this was an advanced class and he said to us, he said, you know, I don't necessarily, now I, I see more like movies, he said, but even, you know, two or three years ago when you heard my third eye readings, he said, what I would mostly get is I would get blurry images with a lot of information that came with it. He said that when he, when he is asked to do a flow, that he actually sees words in front of his, like words coming across the screen, and he speaks those words. And so... This is very important for you to hear because he was born with his third eye open and yet it doesn't always work like we think. So the ability to see moving images, that's exceedingly advanced. Do not expect to be there right away. So welcome, uh, uh, Renee. Thank you for joining us. So one of the key, welcome, Monica. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, Esther. And so one of the key uh, aspects of opening up to your third eye is recognizing how it reveals itself to us. So Master Francisco taught us, he says, when I am doing third eye readings, my mind is in my Ming Men area. Ming Men area, for those of you that are not familiar, is the, the lower part of the abdomen, the back part of the abdomen, just take the entire back half of the abdomen, that's your Zhong area. Okay, and your Ming Men is in that Zhong area. So that's where he puts his mind 
Why? Because the Ming Men point is the Tao point. It's the point through which all the communication uh, from heaven and earth coagulates. So he puts his mind there. Now the third eye, as we know, is in the center of the brain, and it's associated with the uh, pineal gland. However, when we empower the pineal gland, the third eye, the sixth soul house, sixth chakra, when we open up our um, channel for the third eye, by keeping our focus in the Tao point, in the uh, 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 Ming Min Zhong area, we are able to receive the messages without mind interruption. That's the key. Because we want to translate the images we receive. If it's a snapshot, for the longest time I would receive a black and white picture. Just an image. And I have to pay really close attention to see it. This is another teaching. When you go to uh, check what are you receiving as far as a third eye image, close your eyes, put your mind in your jong, the lower part of your abdomen, and ask with a pure heart, Dear Divine, could I please see any images of whatever might be happening at this time? I am so grateful. And then you put your mind there and you wait. Now I saw black for the longest time. What I discovered is the images tend, for me tend to come when I'm least expecting it and when I've detached from expecting anything. And even when they come, it's still a little bit blurry like what Master Francisco talks about. But the good part is that I get information with them, kind of like what Master Francisco is talking about. And so I see something and I say, I say to myself, what is that? Can I please get more clear images? We can ask the soul for this information. We can ask them, can you please hold that image a bit longer? Can you please make it more clear for me? You'll often hear a message that comes with the image. You might hear something. Let's say you get an image of uh, mountains. You can ask, can I please have an understanding of what this image means? And you might hear, do more meditation. Does that have anything to do with mountain? It might from the soul world's perspective. And this is the key teaching that Master Shah teaches us. He teaches that it's the soul world's perspective that is most important. He teaches us to open soul language first and do a lot of talking in soul language. Why? Because it's clearing your channels. Because you're connecting to the soul world. Yesterday I did a flow. Uh, I asked Divine to speak on the, the um, uh, value of chanting to serve others. And, one of the, and a portion of the answer was that we receive the greatest clearing of our karma in this way. When we're chanting soul language, we're self-clearing the karma in our spiritual channels. This allows us to have more clarity of the accuracy of the information. Are you starting to put the pieces together? You should be doing soul language all the time, chanting love, peace, and harmony all the time. Because what are you doing? You're self-clearing your karma, which allows your heart center to be more open, which opens your spiritual channels, which connects to your third eye, which will allow you to see more clearly. But as well, when you ask, can I please know what this image means? you will actually hear a clear answer instead of your mind assuming what it means. Uh, uh, some of us have third eye karma. Why? In other lifetimes, our third eye very well could have been open. We're up to number 25, guys. We're moving close to 30. Good job. So we're getting, um, when we open our third eye in other lifetimes, or even in this lifetime, and we analyze it with our mind and we offer incorrect information, it could cause that person to make wrong choices which takes them off their soul journey or brings physical, emotional, mental, spiritual harm to them. Therefore, our third eye could have closed in that lifetime or in this lifetime. So another reason, why do we do the chanting? Why do we open the spiritual channels in this orderly fashion? The, the reasons again are so that we stay connected to our soul, to the heaven and earth. And in doing so, the messages become clearer and clearer. What is the 
first thing that we say when we get a message? Thank you. What is the first thing that we say if all we see is a flash of a purple light or a little golden flash in our third eye or nothing? What do we say? We say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's what we say. By the way, guys, if Facebook cuts off on me, I will be back in about a minute. Just refresh your page. Come back in. So that's what we say. We popped up to 29, very exciting, almost at 30. So let's do a practice to open our third eye. Now, the foundational teachings of Dr. and Master Shah are that the third eye is a spiritual center and it is in the center of the brain. But even if it is open, it can be very draining and very hard on the body. There is one of our students at the Honolulu Center who's very active third eye. However, her soul readings are about 70%, 60% accurate. And she's been a student a long, long time. And one of the reasons they only run 60 to 70% accuracy is because of her karma. Another reason uh, she has major, major uh, migraines and major health issues. She doesn't follow the teachings the way they should be and she doesn't boost the power to her snow mountain area. Welcome Crystal, welcome Chelsea. Um, the snow mountain area is in the base of the uh, lower abdomen. Visually speaking, you, you touch your belly button, draw an invisible line straight to your back, go back two thirds of the way, drop down about uh, two and a half inches. It's a fist-sized energy center, fist-sized. Everybody has one. And it is the prenatal, meaning the energy that goes into that center came from our ancestors and a little bit from us. So it comes, it comes with some ancestral energy. The importance is to boost power to this area. When we do that and we do it consistently, the power, the, the frequency in the area shoots up the spinal column, boosts power to your kidneys, which are also related to third eye strength, and it, it comes up to your third eye and it feeds and nourishes your third eye and your brain. So it's very much like the engine that has to be running before the car can move forward. The car can move forward without the engine. You can push your car, you can go down a hill, it can move, but it will eventually run out of juice. And that's the same thing with the third eye. Never try to boost it or open it without putting power into the snow mountain area first. Base foundational teachings, always pay attention to them. Welcome, Cynthia Marie. Great to see you. So, let us do a practice for the snow mountain area first. Put your hand in front of you, left hand. Put your left hand in front of you. Let me switch hands so it's easy. it looks like my left hand to you guys. Put your other hand around it like this and grab your thumb. Just like that. Grab your thumb. Wrap your hand around it like this. Place it on your lower abdomen. So your left hand out with your thumb. Wrap your hand around it. Grip. Grip about 80%. Place it on your lower abdomen. Put your, your knuckle of your thumb in your belly button and roll your palm down. Relax your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. Now, Four powers, always connecting with the four powers. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of my snow mountain area, I love you. You have the ability to boost your power, to gather light from all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. Do a great job. Thank you. Dear the soul of all my downloads and treasures that I have received, in all lifetimes. I love you. Please turn on. Please radiate your light to my snow mountain area to boost power to my snow mountain area. See, you got a new teaching there, didn't you? All of your transmissions can focus on one area if you ask them to. Finally, dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have harmed your third eye your spiritual channels, your snow mountain area in any way. Please forgive me and my ancestors. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
So now we've done the soul power. We will have the body power already. You have your hand in position. Remember to keep everything relaxed. Close your eyes. Mind power is in the lower part of the abdomen, the back one third. Visualize golden light coming into your body from 360 degrees. Remember, we just ask all the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes to shine their light on us, and all the light is coming in from all our downloads and treasures. So see that light coming in, and it's condensing in that golden light ball. <clears throat> so that is your mind power. So we will chant divine light. So let us chant together with your eyes closed, visualizing and boosting power to this area. Pay attention to how your energy is now. Pay attention to how it is when we finish. Divine light. Divine light, 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 divine light. Divine light, 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 divine light. Divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light. Divine light, 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 divine light. Divine light, silently chant. Visualize the divine light coming into your lower abdomen, gathering, just like a universe spinning, gathering, gathering the light, pulling it into the universe of your lower abdomen, pulling it in from the stars, pulling it in from the moonlight, pulling it in from all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes pulling it in from all of your downloads and treasures, gathering, gathering, boost light, 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 gather 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 light. Boost light, 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 gather light, gather light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So how are you feeling? Do you feel more energized? Did you break out in a sweat? Did you feel your brain vibrating? Did you feel any vibration in your lower abdomen? These are side effects. This was about a three to five minute practice, not that long. Now, if you truly want results, 15 minutes a day. Yvonne says she feels very hot, feels lighter and clear minded. Wonderful. Most of us, we say, oh, 15 minutes a day, I don't know. Well. You can pay guys like me $120 an hour for a soul reading. That gets expensive. Or you could just do 15 minutes practice a day. For this, maybe another 15 minutes for your um, third eye. Open your own spiritual channels. Don't need us. 
That's the idea. Master Shah is trying to empower as many people as possible so they can serve their soul journey so that you can bless others. That's the meaning behind this. Wow, brain vibrations. Hot and heart is beating so fast. Johnny says, feels lighter, felt vibration in her back. Nicole says, hot and some pressure in your head. Wow. And Crystal says, I felt lighter, very emotional in the beginning, but by the end of the practice, very grateful and have done this practice. Dagon in, says Monica. Yeah, and the ancestors loved it. Good point. So, that is an example of a snow mountain practice. Now, we're going to do a practice for the message center. Now, there's a couple of different practices. Last time I did one, I'm just going to show it to you. I'm not going to use it this time, but I want you to be aware of it. And it's a Guan Yin practice. And what we do is place your uh, pinkies together like this. Roll your palms together and touch your thumbs together. So you're basically forming a cup, okay? So your palms are relaxed. Not so relaxed that they look like this and not stiff. Just nice and relaxed. And then you drop it right in front of your heart center. Again, not pushing up against your heart center because if you push up against it, you're, you're not allowing air and space and energy flow. Just relaxed in front of it. Your shoulders are relaxed, your palms are relaxed, and you can see that they're kind of open like that. You see that? That's about how it should feel and look. Okay? Now this is a lotus flower position and it assists you to open your third eye. Very powerful practice for those that utilize it. Aloha Bahwani, Bahwana. Um, so, the mantra is Wung Mani Ba Ma Hong. So we're not gonna do that this time. We'll do it next time. I want you to use a different one, a very simple one that you can always apply, which is Shah's Golden Healing Ball. You could have invited Shah's Golden Healing Ball into your snow mountain area as well. But we're going to invite it into our message center and we're going to ask it to subdivide and go to our um, third eye and our snow mountain area. Did you know that you can do that? Did you know that you can ask any of your treasures to subdivide and go to different areas of your body? You can and you can do that with an external treasure like Shah's Golden Healing Ball. So repeat after me. Dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball, I love you. Can you please come and bless me to open my spiritual channel of the third eye? Can you please come to sit in my message center, also subdivide and go to my third eye, and subdivide again and go to my snow mountain kundalini area so I have the greatest opportunity to open and empower my third eye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful, huh? You can do this anytime you like. So, Shah's Golden Helium Ball has come. I saw it come. It's come to all of us. It's divided as we have asked it to. We are going to place our hands on our lower abdomen. One over the other. Relaxed. Welcome, Anne-Marie. And we're going to close our eyes and we're going to place our mind gently on our whole body. We'll see the three lights here in our message center and in our lower abdomen. We just see the lights pulsing, growing, pulsing, brighter, brighter. Okay, so that's the mind power. The sound power is Shah's golden healing ball. So don't watch me, close your eyes, enjoy the practice. Shah's golden healing ball, 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 Shah's golden healing ball. See the ball spinning. Gathering, gathering the light. Shah's golden healing ball. 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 
Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Silently continue to chant, visualizing the ball in these three areas vibrating, spinning, glowing, brighter, clearing the blockages. See the clouds of gray flying out of these areas as the golden ball gets brighter and brighter and brighter. Continue to chant Sha silently. Sha's golden healing ball. Sha's golden healing ball. Sha's golden healing ball. Sha's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball, 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 Shah's golden healing ball. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember to thank Shah's Golden Healing Ball. It is a soul that is a dedicated universal servant. It serves 24-7 and all you need to do is call it. It is probably the easiest way to introduce Master Shah to another soul besides love, peace, and harmony because it's there. They just have to call it and bring it into their body. If you chant Shah's Golden Healing Ball, with somebody else and teach them to bring that healing ball into a body part that's suffering, they will very likely have results in 10 or 15 minutes. This will change their mind dramatically about anything that you'd want to share with them about the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah. So what have we learned so far? We have learned that when we take the time to open our spiritual channels, that we have physical reactions, as you just saw from the other actions. What, what does the physical reactions represent? They represent clearing of the karmic blockages. Therefore, we will be able to receive the messages from heaven with far greater accuracy. And we want to have accuracy of the message along with the third eye, which is why we did the Snow Mountain practice first. Thank you for that comment, Anne-Marie. You feel that the link is broken. Very high energy. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So everybody else can comment if you'd like about any experiences that you might have had, including if you saw anything. Remember always to be grateful for whatever you may have seen or maybe what have not seen. And then we offer our gratitude to Shah's Golden Healing Ball and we ask it to respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Monica says, wow, Master Paul and Master Shah, golden healing ball, so much energy, I felt a bit dizzy. Oh, I forgot to put my mind in my lower abdomen. <laughs> Good. Well, in this case, we had a general perspective where we saw the healing ball in all three areas of our body. Uh, for some of you, if that's a difficult thing, absolutely put your mind only in the lower abdomen. Know that Shah's golden healing ball went to all three areas. <clears throat> so... Um, the, the quality of the feed I know is not very good, but hopefully it's good now. Remember, if it cuts off, just refresh. I'll be back on about a minute. Carrie says, Master Paul, I saw a gateway like an archway. What would this mean for me? Esther says, pressure on her eyes. So Carrie, why don't you use your spiritual channels? So we're all going to learn from Carrie right now. When we receive any form of image, we ask heaven. We have open spiritual channels. They might not be 100% open, but I don't know if anybody's is. So we ask. Do it like this. Carrie, repeat after me. Dear heaven, thank you for this image. I am so grateful. Can you please borrow my mouth 
and tell me what is the meaning of this vision of the archway. And then you can do what I do, which is chant your soul language for just, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds, which clears the blockages to receive the message, stop and receive the answer, and then report to us what heaven tells you. So this is how you can check what the image is meant to be. So thank you, Monica, as well. Okay, did anyone see the number pop over 30? I only saw it go to 29. Remember, don't lie, that's bad karma. See if it popped over 30. I'm going to drink some water here. Bawana says, I have experienced miracles with Shaw's Golden Healing Ball. We are so blessed for this gift. Very true. Very true. Uh, Kristen says 29. Okay, we have to we have to chant to get to 30, guys. I want to offer this special blessing. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and so Carrie says, I got I am going to a higher level. What's your pendulum say, Carrie, on the accuracy of that? Is that an accurate response? 60%? Is it more than 60%? Is it more than 70%? Is it more than 80%? Okay, so that's how you can check your accuracy also. I'll check now, but I'm going to wait for your response. Okay, so when we open our third eye, what is the purpose of that? What is the most important aspect of opening any spiritual channel? What do you think it is? Service. I, I heard it. I heard a lot of you got that one right. Probably about 10 or 11 of you got that one right. Service. So Carrie gets 93% on that. So uh, it, was, it was referring to a bridge between your heart center and your spiritual channel of your third eye opening. So it was like a bridge opening up for you, Carrie. And it was representative that this is working. So uh, your message is accurate. Good job. <clears throat> so when we use this for service, that's when we're going to have the greatest benefit. And part of that is trusting it. So let's say that we receive a message and we go, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Okay? Usually messages come with emotions. Is the emotion one that infuses um, a good feeling? Or is the message and the image one that brings a not so good feeling? This is a, the way the soul talks to us, especially in the earlier phases of opening our spiritual channels. It gives us these different ways of letting us know the accuracy of what we are hearing. Okay? So it's very important to be attuned to our emotion also with that message. When you move into flowing, speaking out the information that you hear, <clears throat> it very often comes, especially as your spiritual channels open more, with emotion. You've heard Master David speak, for example, who, Master David's a very uh, a young person, but when he receives Guan Yin, his voice immediately turns to Yin because he's, he's embodying the energy that is coming through with our beloved Guan Yin's uh, message. And so this is another uh, acknowledgement of how the soul world talks to us. Okay. So now, <clears throat> I will do a soul reading as to the power and significance and the value of the practices that we have done so far for your soul journey. Why again, I remind you, why again are we doing all of this? So that you can become an empowered servant to humanity. The Tao Source Communicator Program, the Soul Healer Miracle Teacher Program, Soul Miracle Teacher Program, these are both ways to empower you to serve others, to, to, to move your soul journey in, a, in a, such a powerful, powerful way. You have no idea how much karma you will clear just by joining the program. Because each day when you're doing practices, when you're going to the website, you're getting blessing after blessing, when you practice with other people, when you go to some of the, uh, some of the events that are scheduled, your soul journey will be advanced to such 
a, a level that you could not do it on your own for at least several hundred years. Go to Soul Power Institute, just type it into Google. Um, you, can, you can check it out there. You can just see if you, if you are approved. That's the first step. Um, almost everybody is approved. They rarely get told no. It's mostly about if your energy is ready at this point in time. You might need to do a little more practice or receive some additional blessings from a master to clear any final blockages. But it's a tremendous opportunity to connect to the soul world and not have to depend on masters or divine channels uh, uh, to, to, to move your forward on your soul journey. You have the ability to do this yourself. I believe in you. Look at all your answers yesterday with the practices we were doing. Amazing. Over 80% accuracy from just doing some practices. Very, very powerful. So I'm so happy for all of you. So let me do a reading. <clears throat> this is the divine today with these practices you have all received the wisdom and insights in a voice that is reflective of the one you know of Master Shah the words used are not the exact words of the Master, but they are brought to you in such a way that you understand the teachings and the wisdom of the Master to open your spiritual channels. As was said earlier, the purpose of opening your spiritual channels is to serve. Selfish service is a path that brings you slowly to my heart. Selfless service returns you to my heart in the highest and fastest way possible. Your teacher, spiritual father, Master Shah, has given you unlimited tools to accomplish this and by applying them today with this divine channel you have each cleared an average of 100,000 Shen Qi Jing blockages in your spiritual channels your third eye your snow mountain area and your message center if you had done practice by yourself without the blessings and treasures it would have taken you at least 12 lifetimes of dedicated practice to accomplish today what this practice accomplished the power and the significance of using divine treasures in your body the healing instruments given in the name of Master Shah and practicing in a group is of the greatest importance. My encouragement to all of you is to join the programs. They are rare. They only occur once every two years and they will take your soul where it desires to go this is the divine how 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you divine for that message yay we hit 30 i'm so happy thank you for that comment my eyes were closed i would not have seen it okay <clears throat> so let me prepare something I will excuse myself one minute. <clears throat> I have just written a number. It's right on the back of this piece of paper. Everybody, quickly, choose a number between 1 and 100. Whoever receives the number will receive a very 
very special blessing. Number between one and a hundred. Quickly. Eleven. It's Carrie. Seventy-two, Cynthia Marie. Lily, sixty-five. Stephanie, twenty-six. Loveness, thirty-six. <clears throat> Yvonne, twenty-eight. Crystal, eighty-eight. Amy, seventy-six. Kristen, seventy-five. Kristen Rojas, seventy-five. Judas, thirty. Pat, twenty-nine. <clears throat> Nicole, four. Bahuana, twenty-nine. Renee, twenty-three. Esther, forty-five. Chelsea, eighty-three. We'll see who else chimes in there as I'm looking over these, seeing who is closest. Eighty-three, number seven, Monica. <laughs> okay, you guys make it hard for me. So right now, two of you are tied. You're in the middle. You're three, three points either side of the actual number. Okay. I'll give it ten more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Carrie, 22. I caught your number earlier. Okay, here is the number. And you see it? Number 33. I don't know if it's backwards on your screen or not, but it's number 33. So, Judas is number 30, and we have someone who chose 36, which was Loveness. So, each of you are going to receive a treasure today. I am going to give Judas Okay, so this is by divine guidance. Judas, hallelujah, you are going to receive a Jindan healing and transmission system for third eye. Loveness, you're going to receive Jindan, soul mind body healing and transmission system for snow mountain area. These two areas are collectively associated with boosting power to opening your third eye. Please don't be disappointed. Trust that God made the best choice. I checked divine guidance for which I know everybody, I want my third eye. But in your case, loveness, the reason why Snow Mountain area, you need more power in this area. Okay? So, <clears throat> I want you both to sit feet flat on the floor. Place your hands relaxed over your lower abdomen. Back straight away from the back of the chair. I will prepare. I want you both silently to do forgiveness practice while I prepare. You say to God, to Tao, to Source, to all souls, please forgive me if I have harmed any souls in opening their spiritual channels, in opening their third eye, opening the boosting power to their snow mountain area, if I have harmed any souls in any way in these areas, sincerely, sincerely apologize. You do that while I am preparing. Prepare to receive. <clears throat> For Judah's song, Divine Order, Jindan, Healing and Transmission System. For Third Eye, 
as appropriate. Transmission. Divine order, light wall protection. Transmission. Join as one. Transmission. Divine order. Four, loveness. Jim Don, Healing and Transmission System for Snow Mountain Area. Transmission. Light wall protection. Transmission. Join as one. Transmission. Turn on 24-7. Transmission. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yo, yo, yo. You are both. Beyond, 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 beyond blessed. Very, very blessed. I will do a reading for you. <clears throat> for our dear son, Judas, you were, you were blessed to receive this today because you made the choice to stay away to watch this program. You are interested and desire to be a healer for you to serve better. This blessing was given to you. You have had lifetimes in which your third eye has been open and in this lifetime there was activity when you were younger and even a little bit that you have not noticed in your current age. This blessing, when practiced with, will open your third eye in this lifetime. The duration of time could take between three months and a year depending on your dedication and practice. Had this blessing not been received today, you would have taken another 33 lifetimes of your own practice to open it. There has been 22 lifetimes in which it has been very limited because of wrong choices in other times. You are very blessed. How? <clears throat> For our beloved loveness, this is Yan Wan Ye, leader of the Akashic Records. You, our beloved one, was in the greatest need of this. Your levels of stress, unbeknownst to most, has been very high. This has put a great pressure on your kidneys and your inability to think clearly. This blessing came to you to boost your power to this area. If you practice 30 minutes a day, Within one week, you will notice a substantial difference in your clarity of thought, your new ideas, your strengthening of your foundational energy center, and with additional practice, you could also improve your third eye imagery. If this blessing had not been given today, the karma in this area could have activated within a few short years, about one and a half years, and it would have released a set of conditions in which you would be thinking you were losing your mind because of the lack of power to your mind. You are very blessed with this blessing here today. It has saved you 72 lifetimes of suffering in the same way. This is Yen Wan Ye. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so, beyond, beyond, beyond blessed. I want you to be aware that the Jin Don Healing and Transmission System is very different than it was even a year ago. When Master Sha um, released all the, um, the changes to the Divine Channels, <clears throat> there were a lot of changes actually, more than you were even aware of. And one of them was a, a massive upgrade in the healing and transmission system. Before it was not considered a Jindan healing and transmission system that went to all the Shen, Qi, and Jing energy and matter. <clears throat> Before it was just to the soul of the external aspect of the area. Now 
the Jindan Healing and Transmission System <clears throat> has so much light that when it comes into the Shen Qi Jing, the energy and matter of the area, it clears so many blockages in and of itself. It is one of the highest ways to clear the blockages without lifetimes of practice. Immediately a light wall protection is offered so that the darkness that is left can no longer return. Therefore, your soul journey has the highest propensity of success, the opportunity to keep your spiritual channels open and activated and advanced <clears throat> has the highest propensity of success. This comes in a package, Snow Mountain and the Third Eye. This is another change. Before it was $300 each. Now, the package both has an honor fee of $200, excuse me, $300. Both of them have the honor fee of $300. So to get both, basically at half the typical honor fee, with the blessings to, as appropriate, clear the blockages, and light wall protection, and the jindans that now go to all the energy and matter and bless them in such a profound way. Raising the opportunity to increase your spiritual channel and awareness is truly a huge blessing. And so um, I will keep this op only open for a few days because I leave on Friday. Um, for those of you that have financial restrictions, if you need an extra week, contact me directly and I can give you that extra week. But I can only keep it open for a few days because I'm going to the Kuan Yin retreat. Okay? So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <clears throat> I'm happy to offer it for you. And this does also include, if you'd like, the other three major channels, <clears throat> the other three major energy centers, um, Lower Don Tian, Message Center, and Zhu Chao. Those three are also one package, the same honor fee. So you could have all five if you desired for the total of the 600. But I'm telling you this because these two, uh, and of course the message center, are directly related to um, opening your spiritual channels. The others are, of course, as well. You can't disclude them. So I love you all. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to connect with you today. Please share this video when I complete uh, at the end. Tell everybody about it. I'm very grateful for you. I love you all so very much. I will see you tomorrow when we talk about the Divine Direct Knowing Channel. So join me tomorrow. We'll see you same time, same place. Love you, love you, love you. Bye-bye.